and I wish we all were there also. <laughs> but we're here, and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, the Someone that I'd like to start off with, um, before I introduce Mr. Wonderful over there on his sidekick today, um, is Craig Henderson. Please come up here. Craig, I'm putting you on the spot, Craig. Come right up here. This is my Chick-fil-A guy. <laughs> this is where we met. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. Yes. <laughs> this young man, I want you to know, is one of our new uh, sponsors, affiliates, and everything. And one of the things that I love about the way we're going to be doing it with Craig is this, that he is into, like all of us, education and, and sharing ideas and everything. So what we're doing is he is filling for the whole year. He's picking spots where he's going to be sponsoring some of our guest speakers that we have to pay for and bring in and everything. And he's even going to feed us once in a while. Yay. So I really want you to pay attention. He is a perfect fit for our company. And I'd like you to introduce you to our wonderful agents. Well, first of all, thank you very much You're for welcome. such a gracious introduction. I, I, I'm especially young. Uh, good morning. My name is Craig Henderson. I'm with Poseidon Restoration. We are in, and I've got some information up here, some magnets and cards. Please, uh, please feel free to take one. We're a disaster service company. Uh, what, what that means is we do water remediation, mitigation, uh, mold abatement, fire, smoke, odor, odor damage, uh, storm damage. We're not a roofing company, but we do have, you know, subcontractors who do roofing. Uh, that's not our forte. I don't want to get confused with that because a lot when you think of storm damage, you think roofs. We can help you there, but that's not our main thing. So, but but we are able to help there. We do more of the water, the mold, the fire, the smoke, even odor. Uh, if you go into a house that, that has, I don't know if y'all seen the commercial stank face, the cute little commercial. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse but if you go into a home that has odor, you know we we can help you there. We offer free estimates within a reasonable area. Uh, we're based out of Cumming, Georgia. One of the owners, we're a relatively young company, under a year old, but one of the owners has 15 years experience in the industry. So we have knowledge. We're certified through the ICRC, which is a governing body. They kind of sets the standards on what needs to be done with mold, with water, dry out, and so forth. Uh, so we follow the protocol that they set. Our billing is set through uh, an industry standard that's called Exactware. It's an insurance industry standard. We work directly with insurance companies. Not every claim needs to go on insurance. There's some because <clears throat> that can be cleaned up at a minimal amount. And it's best just not to involve the insurance company. And we work with the agent on that to try to advise the client on what's best. This was very important when we met of what differentiates him from some of the other companies. And this was an important thing because we all know how the people get in the mix and you should talk to other people before you talk to attorneys or talk to insurance companies. So this was an important thing, and he is accessible too. That yes. was one of the things that was very important. In a lot of the insurance policies, if you get two hits, let's say a tree falls on your house, and then you get robbed, that's it. You know, you get you get two chances. Neither one really had anything to do that you did, but they're going to ding you, and they're going to ding you hard, probably cancel your policy. So not everything needs to go on insurance. Another thing touching on insurance that I want to talk about is, and this is something where you can better serve your clients, is not every policy has mold coverage in it. And that may sound surprising, but it's true. And then most of the coverage, most of the policies that do only have a $10,000 limit. But you guys know cost per square foot of a home, when you come in and demo a, a room and you pull up carpentry, you pull up hardwoods, 
and so forth, and then you go to put it back, you go through ten thousand dollars pretty quick, especially in the area in a bathroom or in the kitchen. So it's something to have them look at their policy, to look at their declarations, to look at their exclusions, to make sure everything's covered. That way, there's no surprises. Then there's other exclusions where if it's outside water versus inside water versus a leak. A leak's generally more accepted through an insurance claim than outside water is. And the timing is also important. So there's a lot of factors that come into it, but it's good to educate the homeowner, first of all, just to make sure they have that coverage. And if there's options to up that coverage to a higher uh, limit, because it's probably relatively inexpensive in the long run to have that coverage. Uh, other than that, I'm here. Like I said, we do free estimates within reason. I, I'm here as a resource. We, you know, we want to grow with you guys. Thank you very much for allowing us to be part of the group. We look forward to the opportunity. And I'm here. I, I always like learning. So uh, I, I know I'm going to learn a lot in these meetings, and I look forward to it. And I've got some business cards, some pamphlets, and some magnets up here. Please take one if you like. And, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. That's my number on the on the. Uh, business card and then our main lines on the pamphlet in the magnet so if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out mm -hmm. thank you very much anyone have any questions for Craig at all? okay thank you Craig appreciate it and of course downstairs he'll be with all the other affiliates and everything come 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 get get good mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to introduce... Hold your thoughts. Yes, 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 please. He can't stand all this attention. Mr. John Lewis. Yes, Lair, yes, yes. Attorney. Fabulous. You're on. All right. And it's looking really fine. If you don't recognize me, probably two reasons. I got my hair cut, and it's been a crazy summer, so I haven't been here as much as I'd like to. Uh, but John Royer, O'Kelly and Sorahan, a couple of things today. I passed out these a little earlier. There's really not a whole lot to do with this. I just put it out there as a reference. Um, but right now, Hall County is revamping its comprehensive plan. So that is kind of the, the blueprint of how the, the county is going to go with this development uh, going forward. Uh, and I'm actually with a group called Vision 2030. It's kind of, our goal is to kind of get things uh, in place where we kind of would like to see by 2030. But this is a survey. And if you go online, this will be obviously electronic. But this just kind of tells you how to get there. So I just put that out for your reference. But it's, it's asking a, a bunch of questions of, you know, where do you think development should happen? What do you see problems with the current development? Infrastructure, things like that. So this is a chance, especially us as, uh, in the real estate business and you as realtors, even more so than me, because you're out there kind of going to all these places and know, know where the markets are. You know, kind of hot. You see them. I've got a map on my wall, so I know where closings are, but I don't really see you know, what's out there. So I think this is a good place based on our, and specifically your knowledge, to get in there and kind of have some input um, and to kind of pitch it, put some spin on the way I want to. Um, I'm with the Green Space Committee on there too. And right now, that's kind of one of the biggest, the, grow, the fastest growing market is, is Millennium. And that's what they want, livable, walkable, green uh, communities. And, and, and Gainesville is kind of unique in this. It's kind of far from Atlanta, but also has a really good growth base and, and, and has a, a pretty good infrastructure and, and has a, a lot of desirable things. But the idea is to keep it that way. And you know, the chicken industry has been good and the, and the industry has been good to Gainesville, but we also need to kind of make sure we keep it um, in a place where people want to live and work and stay. So go on there. You know, fill that out. Um, they're using this now. There's a consulting group that's in town, and they are evaluating these these uh, surveys to help put the plan together. And obviously, there's a group of us that are trying to help come up with some language for the plan too. But it's to it's to create good, consistent, long-term, healthy growth for for the area uh, in the future. All right. So that's that's mm -hmm. kind of the this little soapbox there. So go on there and check that out. Um, the other thing on a on a legal real estate side and I know I talk about this probably every uh, five or six months but um, it just seems to keep being a I don't want to say an issue but something I keep seeing but it's just names on uh, contracts and how uh, sellers who the seller it doesn't sound like a big deal but who the seller is it just seems like lately we've had to change that a lot so um, you know using the actual proper name for for the seller so if it's you know 
if he's going by Frank, you know, if his real name is Franklin, we need to put Franklin in there. Or, or the best thing to do really is how to, how to the best way to do it. But if you don't see that, at least go with kind of what's on their ID uh, on there because that's helpful. But the other thing is if the property's in a trust, it really needs to be uh, with the trust. And in that case, we'll need all the trust docs and all that kind of stuff to prove up that this person is in that trust and the trust has the ability to sell it and all that kind of stuff. Same thing with an LLC or another corporation. If that's what it is, that's the capacity they need to be executing the, the contract in. And we'll also need all that information at closing. So I can go to the Secretary of State's website and pull up some of that stuff. So limited partnerships, corporations, things like that we can get. Um, their, excuse me, their filing, <clears throat> but not all their actual power to conduct business. So that would, we'd have to get that from them. So just, if you see this, just kind of keep in mind, corporations, companies, um, if somebody's deceased, if they're in the state, it needs to be in the name of the estate. So if somebody's recently deceased, and we need to have them in that capacity as the executive, the administrator. And again, we'll need all those those documents too. So if you can get out in front of all that, not that it, it doesn't necessarily bother. It's not a, it's not a big issue. It just it, it takes time. And if we have to keep asking, people kind of get frustrated. And I'm like, yeah, I know you sent me this, but and that's great. I need that, but I also need this other stuff too. So. If you see that or aware of any of that, just go ahead and, and kind of have them getting that stuff together because we're, mm -hmm. we're going to need it. And, uh, and and if it's in the wrong name, we have to get a name change. You know, maybe an amendment's required. Uh, I mean, at least at the table will be, but depending on what the case is, we may need it before that. So, so start with that driver's license. Yeah, start with the driver's license. Yeah, what's your what's your actual yeah. name? You know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I couldn't put Mr. Warren from all the contract. I'd have to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you can get the name change I did. Miss Wonder. Miss Wonder. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, got it. Yeah, she got the license plate and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I also brought Dodie Sachs uh, with me today. She is she's done family law stuff with us before, but we've actually started a whole division, a whole group uh, dedicated to family law and uh, and all those kind of things too. So now I'm going to bring up the smartest lawyer in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I've practiced family law for about 12 years now, and I've been with O'Kelly and Swarhan for several years. I'm very excited to start the family law division. So I've been in our litigation department. We have a whole litigation department that does all kinds of real estate litigation and dispossessories, and you know we help fix um, you know quiet title actions and all those kinds of things. And but I'm um, starting up the family law division, so it's. We have a dedicated space and a, um, a team that's doing family law cases. So family law is right, it's, it's divorces, um, modifications if you need to change child custody or visitation or child support or alimony, and also enforcement actions if someone's not paying or following the order that's in place, which we call a contempt, but it's an enforcement action. Um, I also do name changes, so if you really would like to change your name, don't well, encourage me. I would be happy to do that for you. Yeah. Um, so, as y'all know, O'Kelly and Swarahan has offices everywhere in Metro Atlanta, and John's got a very lovely office, which he has graciously said that I can come use whenever oh. you and your clients would like to meet with me. I'm happy to come up to Gainesville and and um, and meet with people. So. Mm -hmm. What that means that I can do for you, obviously, I mean, you guys know everybody. Um, so if you guys know someone that needs one of these family law matters, I'm happy to talk to you to you or to your clients about that. But where it comes up, one, it comes up with name changes, and I can do that. But also, if you have clients that can't qualify for a loan because someone's not paying them the child support or alimony they're supposed to, or they're paying too much child support or alimony, right? then we can, can look at their situation and see if, you know, I can either get it enforced and get it start coming in, or we can look and see if it's appropriate for a reduction um, so we can do it there, too. So, um, also, I know it comes up a lot because, you know, divorce attorneys really almost never know anything about real estate. And we're drafting those settlement agreements dealing with, you know, getting someone off title or on title or giving the house to somebody, and I know that there's problems with those all the time. So. You know, I can help read and figure out what it's supposed to say, what we can do in terms of the settlement agreement, if it can help you. I've done actions where we have, right, because you can't find the other side that needs to sign the quit claim deed sometimes, and you can go to court and have the judge, 
you know, order the property title be transferred, or maybe we just need to work within the framework of what's in the settlement agreement itself. I know that comes up. I'm happy to look at those for you and your clients and figure out, you know, how you need the contract um, drafted or if they really do need to sign the quick claim deed or whatever the situation mm -hmm. is. So I also I brought I brought some brochures that I'm happy to leave here with you guys and I have business cards that I can leave or pass out. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have free consultations? Yes, I always yes. do a free 30 minute, at least a free 30 uh -huh. minute consultation. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Jody, what would you say, like, uh, <clears throat> when I'm, when we're bringing in new agents, there's, you know, they just got married or there's a name change and we have to send it, you know, to the state and there's all kinds of things. What, how long does that take, usually, if there is a name change of some kind? Well, the thing that takes the longest with the name change is it's got to publish once a week for four weeks in the county's legal order. Oh, So okay. it's going to take more than a month. Okay. Um, uh-huh. Right. So, you know, it doesn't take long to get the documents drafted and filed with the court. You've got to, to wait that month and then get on the court calendar. Oh, okay. So. Mm -hmm. A couple months. Mm -hmm. And you'd be surprised how often it, it comes up where there's a, a divorce or some kind of issue that you know, we have to deal with on the real estate side. Uh, and there's a lot of it that I look at. And I, and I even had people come to me and they said that they're, they're divorce attorney their family law attorney told them to come see uh, a real estate lawyer or a property lawyer because they're not sure how this stuff works out but which is, I've always found kind of funny because they're so closely related usually there's a piece of property involved in, in some sort of a family law issue so it, it really is good I mean you kind of just kind of to me it kind of stood out how it makes a difference where, where a family law uh, attorney is, is familiar with real estate yes. because there's a lot of times where I think if somebody would just drafted this, just put in just like a couple of sentences here, we could avoid like three mm -hmm. or four uh, issues. But I, I really do think, uh, I, I mean, it's, I really do think that it's useful and it, and it really comes up a lot more time. We don't say a lot to you guys about it because yeah. we just get it taken yeah. care of, but it's, you know, it, it surprises me how often that, that comes yeah. up. Well, obviously, as usual, O'Kelly, they'll sit, it, whenever it, it's the right time or something is happening or there's so many issues or so many challenges they step up and they start a division remember when they did the new right, uh, kelly with kelly browning the yeah. new construction division so yeah. we welcome you and we're glad you're part of all of this is there anything else that you would like anyone have any questions for Dodie? boy yeah, you done good. did good well if you think yeah. of anything Yes, 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 and they'll start a new division, whatever it is, they, they'll go out and find. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk in with uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew's in Chicago uh, with the uh, NAR Association, he'll be back tomorrow. But one of the things that Matthew and I were discussing, and, and Jackie, is, um, and <laughs> is that this is very important what I'm about to say. There's been many challenges that have been going on, and I do not want it to creep into our company, is that whenever you're uh, uh, wiring money, or if the other agent is wiring, they're supposed to be wiring the money for the down payment for the earnest money and everything, do not take it for granted that the agent will say to you, oh, uh, Pam, already, uh, yep, I already received it. You want to make sure that they can send you a copy of it. They can confirm that they have done it. Very, very important. Not just with the wiring, but if they say, oh, yes, we received the check, you get, and even though you may get a picture of it, and it will say, yes, here it is, was it deposited? That is so important, right, Judy? Absolutely. This is very important, and, well, I, and I'll say very Confirm with me that yes. we have received it. Don't go to your buyer and get confirmation from them. Confirm with me that our bank has received it. We had an agent recently that went to a closing, brought me all the documents, came back, and he was $2,500 short on his commission. We got our money. He had to wait another two weeks for the other $2,500 because we never received that wire transfer, and it was because one number was off in the account number that they sent it to. So, so please, you want to you wanna keep it as seamless as possible. So please remember that that's very important. And I want you also, when you're dealing with other agents, to say, by the way, I will send you that it has been 
deposit is, and I will confirm it for you. Because very few agents, they just take it for granted and hang up. I want us, as usual, to be above everyone else. We're very smart. We're not average. And this is just a thing that's very important. So I want to make sure we don't have that glitch. OK. Uh, OK. Uh, those of you that have people that are interested in getting a real estate license, September 19th, I have the calendar and everything downstairs. In class here, it's starting on September 19th, Monday and Wednesday evenings from 6 to 9.15, and every other Saturday from 9 to 12.15. So I have that downstairs. I, we also have an online course. Because some of the people that I've, I've been talking with, they, they want to get it faster, so they want to do it online. It doesn't matter. It's the same course. But some want to do it online, so we also have an online course. And the inline, in class, I'm sorry, starts uh, September 19th. And try to have them there a little early. They can contact me or Heather, and we'll work things out. OK? Very good. Uh, oh. Now, how many of you, if I said, what in the world does CGI stand for? What would what does it stand for? Let me hear it. Yes, yes, yes. This is something that no other company has. Meaning, when I say has, is this: we we were the very first company, Market Center, in the whole Southeast to be a hundred percent. So bless you all. I mean that. You are all, we're all on there. We're all set up. Here is the thing. Just being set up isn't enough. We want you to use it. It is absolutely one of the best things in my 37 years in real estate where you take everything that you're doing, your appointments, your calls, your sales, in one place. And you're going to be having it on as an app on your phone. So what it is, is Jackie is going to be doing classes. I'm going to be doing one-on-one -on -one with you. What it's all about is that for you to watch run your business like a business. You will have it on your, right here, on your cell phone. What we're doing is we're going to figure out what are your expenses. It will formulate everything. Once we put in those first five or six items, of, of uh, our, um, our, fifth, our cap. We'll have our cap of 15000 in there. We'll have the uh, royalty. In. Everything is in there. Once that's in, it's going to truly, and then you've got to discipline yourself to look at it, to say, oh, I had another appointment. I want to put that in there. We will work with you. It's to make you grow your business like a business so that we can be profitable. And that's what we want for you. But all we can do is bring it to you. Don't think this is just another app or it's another thing. This is for real. No other agents out there, and I mean that sincerely, that have everything at their fingertips. Just like now, we have to go to the multi-trend report for each agent and look here for the uh, Ask Jackie. Everything will be here for you. It is fantastic. And it will, it, like I said, it takes time to do it, but let's do it. And come to me if you're not understanding or whatever, because it's very simple. The hardest part about anything is what? Getting started. That's the hardest part. So please, don't just think this is just another program or not. This is for real. This is for you. Uh, also, oh, when Bob Kalinske, I heard last night, by the way, he's getting married. Uh, he's getting married, so he said, Judy, can you push it off? Can you push it off? And then we have mega, uh, not mega camp, but family reunion. But here's what it is. He's going to give us a date in March, and it's going to be for running your business like a business, one of the best programs out here, and you can invite guests, anyone that you feel where this would help them run a business. Any of your clients that have a business or want to start a new business, it's a wonderful opportunity. And we'll get a bigger haul if we have to. 
And also, KW Kids, that was something else that he's doing. And that, he, we're going to have a date in March. I'm going to try to, we're going to try to work it out where we can do it in the same one, you know, one day. Like, in the afternoon, maybe the evening, or vice versa. But I just want you to know, we're going to be putting that on the calendar once he confirms the, the dates. But it will be March, between family reunion and his marriage, and, and Sharon's boy getting married, daughter. So, please... I want you to go to it today. Just go in and look at it. What did I sign up? What is this that's going on? Please look at that, because I want you to get in the swing of it. Uh, Judy Paul, come <coughs> Please, sweetheart. You're doing so good. I'm just so proud of you. Yes, we did do very, very well. And I just want to thank everybody who sponsored this event. I'm talking about the party, the KW Cares party, party with a purpose. And so we're going to raise a lot of money for KW Cares, and I'm so excited about that. But we're doing it in a fun way this year. We are not going to have to deal with all that stuff on the parking lot this year. Um, so it's Saturday, September the 17th, but I am sorry, we are sold out. Oh, we, and it's only like a week and a half, and we have our sponsors, and we have all the people that are coming. And after the event, we will show you pictures. Thank you, mm -hmm. Kelly, for yeah. sponsoring. Yeah. Um, that's all I have to say. But keep keep um, filling out those green sheets with your donation for KW Cares because we, um, as I have said before, once we, we pay our $3,000 for KW Cares, we keep all that money that's left over in our market center. And the reason that that's important is that if there is somebody in our office who really does need a grant from, from mm -hmm. Keller Williams, um, from KW Cares, the first thing they're, they're going to want to know is what do we do in the market center to help them first? We are a family, and we're supposed to be helping them first. And now we have a little kitty, um, to use Judy's words, we have a little kitty that um, we will be able to do that. We won't have to all of a sudden be having bake sales and car washes and all that stuff to do our part. We can immediately help those people and get them moving along in the grant process. So while I'm talking about that, Please, if you hear of anyone that's struggling that really does need a grant from Keller Williams, that's what that money is for. And so please come to me or Judy or someone, and we can help you figure that whole thing out and work through the process to get you some help there. But remember to donate on your green sheets because all that money does go to a really great purpose. Uh, explain one of the things that you did for uh, your committee and everything did for Tammy Hood. Um, one of our agents, Tammy Hood, is, is suffering from um, mold. Um, she has a, a lot of health issues right now. Um, Terrible. And I believe, um, I don't know about privacy things and all that, so no, what she, can I say? No, no, she said that that was fine. She okay, so we're thank us. For, okay, for so, um, so we're at the beginning stages of this, mm -hmm. and um, she had a, a real need immediately. And so we got together. It was less than $200, but it was a real need for her, and the money was not there. Uh, for this, um, and so we provided that because we did have some money left over from, from prior years, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of money in the kitty, so we were able to do that immediately to help her because these are the things that we have to prove is that we are a family mm -hmm. and that we do help each other um, when there's a need. And it was a juicer because she could not eat whole food. And it was uh, not funny when she called. I said, oh, don't worry, I have one. I, I'll, I'll get it to you right away. Not a problem. So I went home. I said, Gary, where's that thing? That and he said, oh, that's a blender. I said, oh, 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 I need a blender. Well, can you put fruit in? He said, I think you need a juicer. I said, oh, that's what she needs. So I jumped in the car and I got my, you know, what, what is that? What's yeah, the name of that store? Yeah. With my $20 bed. <laughs> bed, bed so I just got ran down, got her. And it was on sale. And I did my New York stud and got a better price. But anyway, but that was a blessing that she heard. It. Anyway, so, but here's the thing, though. The, the sad thing is now we're, we have sent her an application because there's only one place in the country that how serious her problem is, there's only one place in the country that does it. And it's in, I'm going to say it's in North Carolina, so we're trying to find out if KW Cares can help her to do that. Kelly, KW Cares has million, over a million dollars, and we want to give it out. We want to help people. 
So, I mean, we had given uh, at, at one of the offices in New Mexico, I know I mentioned it, that he had, he needed a kidney. And what ended up happening, all through Keller Williams, right in his own office, he had one of the fellows, he was only with Keller Williams for three months, and the young man in there gave his kidney, and Keller Williams paid for both operations, everything. So that's what KW Cares is all about. And we couldn't have a better person for so many years than Judy Paul. I have not seen you this excited about ruining your entire house for this party. <laughs> <laughs> we go to her home. It's easier than a yard sale. I won't. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean ruining it, but it is such a joy. She has such a loving home, and, and it's just great. So. Anyway, that's going to be, be fun. it's going to be All a lot fun. of fun, a lot of fun, and great music and band. Okay, thank you, Judy. And please, when when you hear those of you that are new on the green sheet, every time that you have a closing, just put in there, even if it's a dollar or five dollars out of every closing, we take that and we put that in to uh, help uh, people all over the world with KW Cares and the floods and all the things that are happening right now. Yes, and oh my goodness. Steps yeah, up immediately absolutely. With the and everything that's going on. Yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, or oh, is yeah. it Jackie? Well, you can stand up. I know. I but know. you look exceptionally smart and beautiful, too. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know. That's why um, it was better than a broken ballerina. I still don't forgive you for I that. I know, but that's okay. That was three years ago. Yes. Um, I do not like standing in front of groups of people. However, this continues to happen more and more now. I just wanted to talk to you real quick about a few contract issues that we're seeing. It was brought up in our staff meeting yesterday morning by um, our compliance coordinator that we are seeing more and more issues with lead-based paint. Can anybody tell me when a lead-based paint is supposed to be signed by? Mm -hmm. When it's supposed to be signed by your buyer? What's the time frame? Right? 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 It is supposed to be signed on or before binding agreement date right. by your seller or by your buyer. Sorry, it's supposed to be signed by the seller before that. And we are seeing them come in two to three weeks after. That's not just a form that you're going to go amend. That's if Georgia Real Estate Commission comes down and looks at it, there is $10,000 fine for each one that is not signed correctly. So please pay attention to them. It's why we have the office policy that we want you to submit your contracts to us within 48 hours of finding. The faster we find these things, the faster we can correct them. But please pay attention to that one especially because it is becoming more of an issue. Um, most of the things we can say, get an amendment, get it signed by the buyer or seller, get it corrected. But that, there has to be a consultation with Judy and with Matthew, and there has to be a write-up and put in your file before we can pay you on any of those closings mm -hmm. if there are any lead-based paint issues. Um, also, Jackie, yes. seller has to sign it first. Seller has to sign it, yes. Seller has to sign it before Absolutely. the buyer. Absolutely. <clears throat> um, contract submitted within 48 hours of binding agreement, of course. We're still seeing them. Well, I was pulling through green sheets last night, and I found one that went binding on July 11th, and the file has not been submitted to me yet. So there could be things that are wrong with that. It's supposed to close next week if they're still waiting on things at closing. They're not going to get paid at closing, and they're going to be getting things signed at the selling or at the closing table. So please try to get your stuff submitted to us as soon as possible. And if it's, it's not, not a bad thing, thing, if it's returned to you, it's yeah, not. We are trying to protect thing. you and your license, and we're trying to get you paid on time. The sooner you get it into us, the faster we get you paid at closing. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be fully complete, <coughs> right, Jack? Can no. explain that? It does I not have to be fully complete. You can be missing things, and we'll send it back to you and say these things are still needed. You know they're still needed. You're still working on getting them. Just submit it back to us when you get those documents. That way it is file complete at the closing table and you're not coming to us asking us for a DA and we're looking at you shaking our heads. No, you can't have a DA. You can't get paid at closing because your file is still returned to agent and you're still missing things. Um, another thing, green sheets being completed, it still continues to be an issue that they are being done the week before closing, green sheets need to be done within the same month you go under contract. It's how we track your written volume for everybody. So if you have something that went under contract in June, but you don't do the green sheet till August, we're tracking written con or written volume for you in August, not in June like it should have been done. 
I can't go backdate those. Once we transmit, we're in the next month, everything goes for that following month. So if you're completing your green sheet in August and you say something went under contract in June, I'm going to change it to it went under contract August 1st and it's going to mess up everybody's numbers. Mm -hmm. So try to do your green sheet the month that it goes under contract at the very least. If, so even if it falls through? Even if it falls through, we can go through and terminate that one and you can do another one later. Mm -hmm. But we want to be able to track accurate numbers. So we don't need to wait so I have to do diligence? No. no. Good question. No. Mm -hmm. Submit it as soon as you can. Anything that needs to be changed with it, we can change. If the sales price changes and you get an amendment, we'll change that on the DA mm -hmm. on our side. You don't have to do another one. If your commission changes, we'll change that. You don't have to do another one, which is another thing. If you have a DA, we're going to send it to you before closing. It is your responsibility before you send that to the closing attorney to check it and make sure it's correct. As lovely as Mr. Wonderful is, he's not going to sit down at the closing table and fix your commission because your sales price changed and your DA is off and your commission's wrong. He's going to cut you a check for the full amount and it's going to come back to us and you're going to have to wait on us to process it. We're getting a lot of phone calls from the closing table with people asking us to hurry up and correct the DA and send it over. Allison might be teaching a class, I might be in a meeting with somebody and we can't always drop what we're doing as much as we try to make the exceptions. There are certain rules and guidelines that have to be followed and that is a big one. Um, that's been an issue quite a bit lately with people not checking their DAs, sending them, and the sales price had gone up $5,000, their commission had gone up and they try to fix it at the closing table with the attorney. Well then they're turning around signing their check over to me so I can fix everything on our side. They don't know your splits, they don't know the royalties, they don't they don't know everything like that. It changes FMLS fees if you have things on there. So please make sure you are reviewing those before you send them to the closing attorney. If anything's incorrect, let us know prior to sending it and we'll get you a new one sent over right away. And if you have any doubts, just pick up the phone and <coughs> ask. Please ask. Don't there is no such thing as a dumb question ever. No. If you have a doubt, pick up the phone and just say, Listen, or come in and we will help you. That's what they're there for. Believe me, that saves so much time and it helps us all. Absolutely. And we want to give you that check. You earned it, kids. And just a, another reminder, we do have direct deposit for those commission checks. So yes. Yes. if you're going out of town or if you are turning in a commission check and you don't want to wait for it, fill out the direct deposit form with us downstairs. We do a direct deposit. It's in there the very next day as long as your file is complete. Mm -hmm. So if for some reason you don't get that DA that you were hoping for, we still have your direct deposit form downstairs. Yes, ma'am? Is that a one-time sign or do you have to do a free One-time sign. One-time. Mm -hmm. Any questions? I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't she very good? Okay. She has blossomed because I have thrown her <laughs> in the spotlight. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, I even, even I have to say I would have been embarrassed, but she did it. God bless her. Okay, our training calendar. Please, downstairs we have our training calendar. That is there for you. Ignite is for everybody. 36, 12, 3, 36 transactions in one year by doing three hours a week or day. It is an excellent program. So please take advantage of what we have here. Under and, the intranet as well, this is kind of a screen cap from the calendar on the Market Center intranet. We also have the ones that are printed out downstairs if you are a paper person and you want to have one with you. But this is where you go to check the classes that we're having, the teachers that we'll be teaching in the times, and then to also sign up for those classes so we know to prepare the instructor for how many people they're going to be having. And if you're not sure how to go in and do it, just say, Heather, could you please show me and or can you please sign me up for it so that we have more than one or two people in the classes because they're excellent and we really have a good time doing it. And remember, everyone that is doing that, they're all volunteers. So it's for you, so please take advantage of it. And another thing that I'll be talking to you, we've, um, one of the things I'm gonna be making calls and talking to individually is that I'm gonna find out if you're going on appointments and you're not getting the listing or you're working with a buyer and the buyer wants them. I love sitting down and going over and just talking and giving you examples of huh, 37 years I can write a book. I know what all you're going through, believe me. 
but it's fun. I, I'm very good at what I do. I know this business and I know what you're going through. I'm an agent at heart. If Gary didn't move so much, honey, the best job in the world is a real estate agent. And just come in and sit and talk and we'll have a good time and we'll learn through it. I don't want you to get discouraged if you're not getting those listings or you're not worth getting with the buyer. Let me know. I want to find out so that we can help you. That's what we're here for. It's all about you. Let us earn our keep. We're getting $500,000 a year and we're not really earning it. Right, Can we have a little laugh? <laughs> <laughs> they must have thought I said five dollars. I think it's not right. Okay, delete that. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, Miss Jacqueline. Okay. Jackie, Jackie. Yes. Look this up there. Yeah. Uh, first, I want to thank our vendors: Homestar, O'Kelly and Thorhan, Two Ten, and Atlanta Property Home Inspections for Ooh, sponsoring. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. For sponsoring our listing contest. Yes. Come up here, you gorgeous creature. Oh. Bennett's mother, come up here. This <laughs> here is Miss 210, and I love her. She had the meeting up north, and I said, it's okay, it's okay. Well, she showed up today. I want you all to know, how big is your company, 210 Home Warranty? For national. National, and many offices throughout the entire country, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kelly here is number one sales representative <laughs> in the entire country. And she did everything I told her to do, and I take full credit. <laughs> Please let them know how excited your family is and how you're so proud of yourself for all your hard work please let them know Don't, and thank, thank you I, I ugly cried no, that's a, <laughs> she's been crying like a baby but please kelly yeah let them out. know what hard work it pays week. off yes i've been working really really hard but i couldn't have done it without you guys trusting me to be your partner and trusting me to talk to your clients so i appreciate each and every one of you so thank you so much for all of your amazing support and business um Number one right now, but I still have someone right behind me, so I still have to keep that number one spot for the next four months to have it for the to claim it for the year. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, can I talk about these? Next Please. Ones? Well, I did bring a gift card. Oh, then so. you can definitely talk. <laughs> if you were here the last time I was here, if y'all are listening, what is one thing that Two Ten is now offering that no other home warranty company? is offering towards the service fee. Yes. Service fee. No questions asked. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, what's that mean? Y'all cover it. Thank you. One person. No. Okay, no. I'm going to read, I'm going to say it one more time. What is one thing that 210 is doing? We're the only hand. home warranty company doing this with our service fee, the 75 and the 100. Like you raise your hand. <laughs> what was it, Ron? If it doesn't, if it doesn't, if the service doesn't, if it's not, if the service is not covered, they rebate your your seventy five or hundred dollars back. Yeah. So if your client, thank you. Yay, Ron. Your client, Woo! Woo they have a hundred dollar or a seventy five dollar service fee. So every time that they call and place a claim with us, they have to pay that service fee to our contractor. It's a trip charge for them to come out to the home. To diagnose it if there is no coverage found meaning if it's not eligible for coverage if it was a pre-existing issue that was denied they can ask for their service fee to be reimbursed and we're going to send that money back to them that's awesome, awesome. Um, and all I've been with 210 since 2004 and that was our biggest thing is homeowners calling me saying well it wasn't covered it wasn't eligible can I get that service fee back and I always had to tell them no because it's a service fee. If you didn't even have a home warranty, if you called anyone to come out to your home, you have to pay a service fee. But we want to do the right thing. We think that is the right thing. If there's no coverage found, we're going to give it back to them. Um, we also included our HVAC Plus coverage in our service agreement. Um, that is more coverage towards the new 14 SEER regulations. They're basically now stating the government stating that. If we were, if we have to replace the indoor system with the 14 seer, everything now has to be replaced with the 14 seer. Mm. So the outdoor system has to be replaced as well. Before we would only repair or replace what failed. 
And so the outdoor system would have gone back onto your homeowners, but now we are going to cover both systems if they have to be replaced with homeowners awesome. here. Yeah. So great, great HVAC coverage. Um, we now have a Supreme package. Um, definitely recommend getting a Supreme package for your buyers. It's our best package. And we now include $250 in that package to go towards modifications <clears throat> and carpentry, which is awesome as well because that is just one thing that warranty companies don't cover is for modifications and carpentry. But now in our Supreme package, we're at least covering up to $250. And remember, you do not pay one dime until it closes. Not a dime until it closes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't tell you how important that is. But the most important thing I want to say, and I've said from day one, uh, when Kelly and I first met three years ago, is that you do not have to sell. All you have to do is say, this is something that's very, very important. If you have two homes on the street and they're identical, even with the carpet, if with the car, everything is the same. When you have a home warranty on your property and you don't, we are commission driven. Buyers want to know, whose home are you going to show them first? That they have that warranty. And all you ever have to do with your seller is to leave this and say, may I have Kelly call you. Kelly will do it all for you. She is the professional. You're there to guide them. Don't do them a disservice by not offering this. I am telling you, you do people a disservice. This is for them. If they don't want it, fine. You just sign that waiver that they're not interested. But... I'm sorry, I always have to say that, so please. So what, she, what she's talking about is our free listing coverage, is we don't know how long the home's going to be on the market for, a couple of days, months, even up to a year. And what we're, what we're giving to your sellers, we'll give them a free home warranty with a commitment that they will purchase the warranty for the buyers at closing. So nothing would be due until closing and only if the home closes. Air conditioning and heat pump is optional for $70 if they wanted that <coughs> coverage between now and closing, but if they decide not to take that out, the buyer will still get that coverage starting day of closing for a full year. But my favorite story, I had a brand new agent, only been in the business, I believe six months, went on a listing appointment for a $900,000 home. She was going up against three seasoned agents that have been in the business for 15 plus years. So she was a little nervous being in the business for only six months. She got the listing, she got it. And she called that seller and asked them, what did I do to make you go with me over the other three? I would like to know. And he said, you offered me a home warranty that no one else offered, and I really like that. So mm -hmm. she got that $900,000 listing just by offering the home warranty. Mm -hmm. Do you see how we are? We're not average. We're above average. These are things that you've got to open up and understand that all these things are for you and use them because that's why we're doing so well. You just think you're all good looking, and that's how you're getting your listing. I'm telling you, it's not true. Okay? I'm very serious when I tell you, you've got it. You're utilizing the things that we're sharing with you. That's why you're doing so well. 206 closings last month. I mean, do you realize how fabulous you are? And you also know you ain't touch what you really can do. Am I right? Well, am I right? Yes, because yes, I know God's not done with me either. But anyway, anything else you'd like to yep. share? And who won now? Rod? Is, did he win now? Yes. Oh, he did. Yeah. Well, come on up here there, Rod. Come on there, handsome. You come up here and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And Jackie again, I'll sit down. I'll no, you stand up here with me. You're oh, good. oh, okay. Don't think you're leaving me again. I can do that. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, just want to take a second, like I said, to thank our vendors for sponsoring the listing contest that we had for June and July. Um, we only have one of our winners here. We have one winner in the Habersham office. We were tied for third place with nine listings, Chuck Walls and Jana Flurry. We had second place, Deborah Orr, with 11 listings. And I kind of like our first place winner. Our third place winners, each one Kendall's. Yeah, our Kendall. second place winner won a camera. 
And our third place winner, she cannot be here. Um, yes, first place winner. Did I say third? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm here. Um, our first place winner could not be here, but her husband is here to accept the prize for her. And I absolutely love this woman, Miss Brenda Burke. Yeah. So. And she did all that for my little baby. How, how, how lucky Brenda is. 14. 14 wow. listings. Wow. Yes, wow. yes, yes. And what was so, you know, she went through a lot. And she will, she'll will she be the last to tell you as well as Pat will too. But she went through her mom being very sick and she passed away last week. Mm -hmm. And she is just a remarkable person. They are a wonderful team. And we're blessed to have you, Pat. Thank, thank you. I just want to thank the sponsors, though. I really yes, appreciate yes. Kelly and Sorry and John. Kelly, I need to use you more. I yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Say that louder. <laughs> 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 okay, very yes, good. Did. That's what we need to do. But we've also used um, Atlanta Property Inspections. They do a good job at home so we use a lot. And we thank you. Very thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know everybody wants to get out of here for caravans, so we'll move this right along. Uh, do we have any cheers for peers? What are cheers for peers? Somebody tell me what a cheers for peers is, please. Acknowledging something good that someone has done. Right. It, it could be in the office. It could be at home. It can be anywhere. If your spouse did something, let's share. What is something that has gone on that somebody has helped you with uh, this week? Yes, Ann. Well, it was last week when I was gone, <clears throat> but Dana went above the call of writing a, an offer for somebody on a Friday night that we didn't get together because somebody else bought the house before we could get it in, but that, I thought that was beyond the call to have to do that on a Friday night and a Saturday morning. Oh, that's and, great, Ann. Thank you. Thank you. That's <coughs> and then Pat Garner filled in for me to show the house. Oh, is that <laughs> what you just said? I'll tell you. No, but that's what this is all about, is cheers for peers. Uh, anyone else have a cheer? Uh, Jenny. My daughter-in-law's not here, but she is a realtor also, and she showed a farm for me a couple of weeks ago. So she kept my client for me, but she had to walk by five acres, and it's 90-something degrees, so Oh, she did great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh good. Karen, Karen, that's wonderful. Well, I, I got one. Yes, here. Eric and Sar. Last oh. week, Phil and for the car, we had two back to back photos, and Eric's popped in there with a computer. She's going through the contract, and she's getting caught up to speed and talking to the clients, like every, make sure everything goes off without a hitch. So she had two back to back closings. Uh, for Laura, she uh, <laughs> and she would be the first to say, don't say anything. It, really <laughs> was three. it was That's three. It was three. She did another one, too. Oh, and I want to say she's the best mentor in the entire world. Oh. Uh, <laughs> absolute best. Uh, I would be uh, I dumbfounded without her. Well, you know what's so good about that, seriously, is that you stepped up and you're getting mentored and you're taking advantage of it. So bless you for that. It's, a, it's certainly a, a team effort. Well, I love and appreciate all of you yesterday. Just yesterday, Laura did a favor for me. And it may not seem like a big deal, but you know, this time of year, you're so busy. And we were talking in the print room, and I found out where she lived. And just right after that, I've got a homeowner that has to be out of their house in less than 30 days. And she saw a house near where she lives. And I called her and I said, are you headed home? And she said, no, I'm still at the office. And I told her where this house was. And I said, would you mind going by there? Just take a picture of the sign. Cause I cannot find it anywhere on the internet. And she went by. And what it was, the homeowner gave me the wrong street number. She took a picture of the sign. So I've got the phone number. I know who to call now. And we got, we've got it all fixed. And so she and I drove right past her going home anyway. So uh, it was I, right I, there. It was a big help because I would have had to go way out of my way to go see it. I, 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 we are so blessed. That's wonderful. Oh, and uh, talk about the listing that you just got. Oh, wow. Oh, no, my no, God. Please. No. I like it. No, just This fast. weekend. It was awesome. Okay, fast. I listed a house Friday, came in Saturday morning, put it on Swift, got it online. Before I even got it online, I started having people want to see it. And um, we ended up having 17 views 
five offers, went highest and best yesterday at noon, and I got $5,100 over asking price, and I know it will appraise. Wow. I mean, oh. and she's a hoarder. <laughs> so you had to look from too. here up. And I was like, oh, she had beautiful sweets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I thought who she said. I thought that something to like she said. She's like, I call her. They're being inappropriate on this. Or they're asking for it. When you first start saying it, it sounds like the end. But I can tell you right now, I could start with Anne and keep going on every single one of you and have something wonderful to say about each one of you. And I mean that sincerely. You, you are included, Teresa. But anyway, I just want you to know I appreciate all of you. We know what you're going through every day, and we love you for it. And just keep that passion, because when you have that, it will fall into place. It always does. He watches out for us. Uh, next team meeting will be September 6th. And let me see. I won't be here. Oh, let's hear it. I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better miss me. Matthew and I will be uh, September 6th to the 10th. We're going to be in Sandestin for the GAR convention with that David. wonderful David back there. David, is there something you'd like to say about the board or anything? You're all set? Mm -hmm. You're good. Okay, any of our vendors would like to stand up and wave your hand and say, I'm wonderful. Come on, come Thank on. You you go yay, Craig, yay. Yes, another wonderful. Come Thanks. on. Thank you, Dave, for contact with us. Yay. Thanks. Thank you, Thank you, Hey, anybody else? Am I missing anybody? How are you doing? You liking it so far, Greg? I'm having a ball. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> This young man, I'd like you to say fast, you went to Mega Camp. Was Mega Camp worth going to? It was absolutely wonderful. I had a ball. It was so exciting to see and learn what was here. It was, it was awesome. It is. It's just, and until you go, you don't get it, you know. But I'm hoping all of you will remember in February we're having family reunion. I when Tickets are sold out. But if any of you still want to go, let us know, because sometimes we can grab some tickets. And it's really very special. Our family reunion, we have ten to 13,000 at that convention. We're a mega camp. We have anywhere from three to 4,000. So we have so much. But take advantage of what we have here in our training. And all these wonderful sponsors we're very fortunate to have. Have a blessed day. Go forth and multiply in this Thank you. It says Halloween, but then just a minute ago it says Halloween is not up. It's not only it says Halloween is a swamp. And I think it's a password for children, but... Uh, I was doing something and he kept saying we for a password. But I've never had to do that before. I said, I've never Ooh. had it. I've never had it. Ooh. 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 What is that? <laughs> I'm 